we have the Averick gun socked it on. Here we go. Wow. That was, uh, that was pretty quick. We're live outside dump trailer. That's my dump trailer that I rent. Hydraulic tilt dump. It's got double axle, eight lug wheels. And we're going to see if it'll break these loose. Here we go. Heck yeah. Let's try another one. There's two. There's three. All right. Well, I'm not going to keep going because we don't even have this thing jacked up, guys. Um, but that is, uh, <laughs> wow. Under 150 bucks, two batteries and a case. Sign me up. Put these back on. Mopar fam, I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. Today's video is kind of going to be a tool tech demo day. That's what we're going to call it. So, for those that don't know, a lot of you guys know what I actually do for a living to make money uh, besides, you know, YouTube, which doesn't pay the bills yet. Um, I own my own outdoor power equipment repair shop, and we also do sales. Uh, we sell parts, we sell uh, blowers and trimmers and all that kind of stuff um, and we fix a lot of stuff like today we have a zero turn uh, gravely zero turn mower in the shop uh, that we're doing a service and some other stuff too but what today's video is about is um, sometimes on the YouTube channel you know companies send us products to try out this is something that I can actually use in my shop and at the racetrack so I figured this might be helpful for you guys as the price tag on this thing is super affordable compared to some other tools out there. So what we have is under 150 bucks. This is a cordless impact gun. It's a half inch drive um, impact gun from Averitt. And the Amazon link, the Amazon link will be in the description below. So here we go. Let me show this thing. All right. So what we have, this is the Averitt case that everything comes in. It's a really nice case got buckles and inside you have the 450 foot pound 21 volt cordless impact gun you get two batteries and you get a charger now I did open this already to charge the batteries because we do want to give this the benefit of the doubt I want to test it out in real life um, what we're gonna do if anyone's tried to take mower blades off before sometimes they can be a pain in the butt and most of the time I use air tools uh, we got, you know, all kinds of air tool guns around here. So we're going to see if it'll take off these mower blades. Now, you also get a few impact sockets. They give you a driver adapter where you can run quarter inch bits like a Torx, Flatheads, uh, Phillips, etc. Um, the gun has three modes. It's got a button on here that you can change it from low, uh, medium, or high. And also, each battery has a button. There we go. Right there. Tells you if the battery is fully charged or not. So, what we're going to do, we're going to try to take these mower blades off. And just so you guys believe that they are tight, this is my impact gun. We are going to... We got it on forward. We're going to hammer these guys. As tight as I can get them. All right, so just trying to show that the blade bolts are tight. They're not already loose, they're tight. I got them as tight as that gun won't take them. Not only that, we haven't even tried to remove these blade bolts yet. So, however tight they were already, 
Now they're even more tight because I just tighten them with my air impact gun. I am one handed here as I did not intend to do this video today. So bear with me. Bam. Plugged on a battery with one hand. There we go. It's got a light on the front also. So we are going to get our 15 16 socket, impact socket, and put it on here. That is what size these blade bolts are. Now, the other thing I want to mention, this is under 150 bucks. Okay. This handle, this gun, feels every bit, every bit as good as my Milwaukee stuff. Now, I have a lot of Milwaukee tools. Like this is the quarter inch driver. Now, I do not own the half inch driver yet. I've been wanting to buy one, but them things are over $500. They are, they are, they're expensive. Um, so I still use a lot of air tools. So I'm very interested in how well this works because under 150 bucks, if it works, I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot around the shop and at the racetrack. Uh, we've had blowouts going to track events on my trailer where we've had to change tires on the side of the road by hand. Uh, this would be awesome to have, so I'm glad we have one. So enough jibber jabber. Let's see if this will take off these blade bolts, guys. All right, we are in reverse. We have the Averick gun. Sock it on. Here we go. Wow. That was, uh, that was pretty quick. Let's try the other side. That is very impressive. Um, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. As you can see, <laughs> This mower has kind of been neglected and we got a lot of rust on these bolts, not to mention on the blades. Um, and it did a good job taking the blade bolts off. That is very impressive. So, let's do something else. I have a dump trailer out front that I rent. It's eight lug wheels. Let's throw a socket on this thing. Let's go outside right now live and see if it'll take off some lug nuts on that trailer wheel. All right, I believe it's a 21. Oh, yeah. All right, so they even give you a 21. There's a 21 socket in the kit. I'm going to get rid of my socket. I'm going to put their socket on. Again, one-handed here. Bear with me. There we go. All right. Going out here with the Averitt. Do, 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 do. Doot, doot. Oh, see, there you go. We sell blowers, y'all. Boo, boo, boo. All right. We're live. Outside dump trailer. That's my dump trailer that I rent. Hydraulic tilt dump. It's got double axle, eight lug wheels. And we're going to see if it'll break these loose. Here we go. Heck yeah. Let's try another one. There's two. There's three. All right, well, I'm not gonna keep going because we don't even have this thing jacked up, guys. Um, but that is, uh, <laughs> wow. Under 150 bucks, two batteries and a case. Sign me up. Put these back on. That is pretty dope. So yeah, every now and then on the channel, we get something like this to test out. And I felt like this would be kind of something that a lot of you guys would possibly be interested in, uh, especially a lot of track racers. Um, for under 150 bucks, this thing looks like it does a very good job compared to say five, $600 tools out there. So I'm definitely going to keep using this thing around the shop um, for you know what we use most of our air guns for taking off blade bolts, tires and wheels and stuff like that. Um, it'll definitely be going to the track with me every time we go on a trip so that we have a half inch gun now um, and not have to use our hand tools 
or four-way on the side of the road anymore. Hopefully that doesn't ever happen again. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in it, the link will be in the video description below. I believe this thing's around 144 bucks, and you get everything I just showed you in the case. So I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. A little Tool Tech Tuesday. As always, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. Um, maybe some of you guys already have one of these things. What are your thoughts? Um, maybe you got some that you spent a lot more money on. What do you think? I have a lot of tools. Um, that is no lie. So comment down below your opinion, and we'll see you guys on the next one.